Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And let's talk about Refinitiv Icon, how to monitor inflation on Refinitiv Icon. That is very, very useful if you are conducting studies, comparing inflation among different countries. Uh, one limitation, there are not tons of countries, but the most important countries, uh, we have very, very good inflation. Uh, in, uh, inflation information on ICON, and it's very easy to find all of them. You don't need to go country by country. There is a place where you can find all of this info combined. And this place is on InfMon, Inflation Monitor. So just come on the search, like you search for any equity or company, and let's go on InfMon, Inflation Monitor. So let's see what we have. Tons of countries, I believe it's 30 something, where we can find their data. So here, inflation target, inflation rate, prior inflation, inflation index, inflation rate, policy. And if you come here, oh, there is nothing more. Uh, so. You can find it. However, you can also find other inflations, producer price, not consumer price, wage inflation, central bank rates for the standard and then updates for the standard rates. So here we have the policy rate, 118% in Argentina, 12.75% uh, in Brazil, my home country. Uh, 13 on Colombia, 13 on uh, uh, Hungarian Central Bank, 18 on Nigeria, 30 on Turkey, uh, and then US 5.38, China 1.88. So we have tons of central bank rates. And gross domestic product, GDP, very, very useful. Never forget the update. Here, so GDP, what is the uh, increase or decrease, and so on, and then inflation, and so on. So we have some info. What else do we have? So let's go back to the first one, consumer price. We have these tools here that are very, very good. This first one, manage columns. You can change the columns. So, okay, I don't need all of these columns, so you can unclick and okay. A grid view, that is what we are doing, but there is also a chart view, a chart with all of the countries. Not all of them, but we can start adding and and so on. So let's add some additional countries and we can also go on floating bars for all of these countries. And then update here, we update with the additional countries that we selected and so on. Or here, data stream charge where you can create dashboards if you want. So it's more accurate. And by the way, there is a video about how to create uh, dashboards on Refinitiv. You can go there and watch them later. And here you can export it to Excel. You don't export the chart, if I'm not wrong. So let's double check here you export the raw data. So here, but why only 16 or not even 16? Why only 12? Because it's the 12 on the chart. If we go back to the grid view, where we have, well, let's select all of them here. It goes on the, on the selected countries. Oh, come on.
So reset, it goes all countries again. And then when we go export to Excel, this is the old one. Now this is the new one. We have all of the countries, but not all countries. There are only 32 countries. So the 32 most important countries on Refinitiv icon. And also to finish it, there is a very good one. And here we open external apps and send feedback and subscribe to a newsletter. But here, interest rate probabilities. That is a very good here. So here we have what is the most probable action. Does it mean that they will be always right? Nope. So this is what it is the most probable. So for instance, uh, in the US, probably no changes. In Brazil, we don't have oh, Brazil here to cut, probably, that is my home country. Uh, so we, he, we have here and one hike on the Sverges on the Sweden, uh, maybe some hikes and so on. Also hike on Turkey, also hike on Indonesia. So we have here some hikes, some cuts. So this is very, very good. And to come back, just close it. And then you can launch the central bank polls if it's working. Apparently it is. Not so fast. That is an issue on icon. It's not the fastest. And here we have, for instance, the US and so on. So we have here some, some very good info about it. See, very, very nice monitor for inflation. Very, very good if we are working with this large data or if this macro data, that is very, very good. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Questions or comments, just leave them here or email me and have a very nice day and God bless you.